All right, today's class, it's our last class looking at integers. So we are going to do some review of integers. So if we look at our first two examples here, we are reviewing addition and subtraction of integers. So I'm going to pause it here, let you guys try that. All right, so for the first one here, um, we have negative 3 plus negative 5. Okay, so negative 3 plus negative 5, that gives me negative 8, right? Both signs are the same, so we add, keep the sign. Um, so we have negative 8 plus the negative 8 again. Um, so again, you're adding a negative and a negative. So keep the sign as negative, and we just add. So that gives us negative 16. All right, some of you already did the second one. If you haven't, please try the second one. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing we have to do is rewrite this, or you can just change this to a positive, and this becomes a negative, or it becomes addition. You change the subtraction to addition, and the integer becomes a negative 2. All right, if we were to rewrite that, um, just negative 8 plus negative 7 plus negative 3, and then plus negative 2. All right, so now we just have to add um, from left to right. Um, so we'll start with negative 8 and negative 7. So that gives me negative 15. Um, and then we still have the plus negative 3 plus the negative 2. So next I'll just add these two. So I have negative 15 plus negative 3, which gives me negative 18 plus the negative 2. So again, we're adding um, and keeping the sign the same. So our answer is going to be negative. 18 plus 2 is 20. So our answer is negative 20. We have negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 4. Um, so if we count our negatives, it's an odd number of negatives. So we know our answer will be negative. Okay, so now we just have to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So our answer for that one is negative 24. All right, for this one here, um, let's count our negatives. We just have the one negative, but notice there's a zero in there. And we know that anything multiplied by zero will equal to zero. So even if we were doing this from left to right, 5 times negative 2, that would give me negative 10, right? So this here would give me negative 10, but then we're going to multiply by 0, and that's going to give me 0, and then 0 multiplied by 3, it's still going to be 0. So your answer for the third one, it is 0. All right, for the... Third one here is negative 2 to the power of 4. All right, don't get that confused with multiplying negative 2 times 4. Negative 2 to the power of 4, that means you're taking negative 2, multiplying it to itself four times like this. All right, so it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So we can count our negatives. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives. It's an even number, so therefore our answer is going to be positive. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So your answer for that one is positive 16. So um, dividing here, negative 144 divided by negative 12, dividing two negatives will give me a positive. Right, so we have positive 12. Okay, here we have negative 72 divided by positive 9. So we have a negative divided by positive. So we know our answer will be negative. Okay, so our answer here will be negative. Um, so 72 divided by 9, that is going to be 8. And so therefore, negative 8. All right, so this first one, 
um, in the square brackets, we have the negative 4 plus the negative 3. So when I do that, that gives me negative 7. And it's being multiplied to the negative 5, like so. All right, so we have negative 5 times negative 7, which gives me positive 35. Okay, um, the second one. Second one here, we have division and we have multiplication. There's no addition or subtraction here, so we're just going to go from left to right. So we're going to do the negative 36 divided by negative 3. That gives me 12, positive 12. And then it's multiplied by negative 5. Um, we have a positive multiplied by a negative, so our answer is going to be negative, and then 12 times 5 is 60. All right, our next question here has addition, multiplication, addition. So according to bed mass, we do have to do this multiplication first. So we have to multiply the negative 3 times the negative 2. Okay, so just <clears throat> rewriting this out, we have the negative 6. Then we have plus positive 6. And then we have plus negative 4. Now just going left to right, uh, negative 6 plus positive 6 is just 0. So we just have 0 plus negative 4, which is just gives me negative 4. All right, so we're graphing a function next. We're given these values of x. We have to figure out our values of y. From that, we can get our ordered pairs or our coordinates, and then we can graph it. So the first one, y is equal to 3 times negative 2 minus 5. All right, so 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. Negative 6 minus 5. I'll just write it here, negative 6 minus 5, right? We change that to addition, that becomes a negative 5, so our answer is negative 11. So that means our first coordinate is at negative 2, negative 11. Uh, that's our just our coordinate there. All right, try the next one. Okay, so we finished calculating um, all of our y values, and we've got our coordinates. So next, we just have to plot it. So the first one is negative 2 and negative 11. So negative 2, negative 11, that would have to go here. All right, that's negative 10, so this one would be negative 11. Next is negative 1, negative 8, so it would go here. Um, next, we have 0, negative 5, so 0, and then negative 5. Next, we have 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2 right there. And then we have 2, 1, so over 2, up 1, there it is. And then we can connect that. There we go.